Hey folks, I'm Robert Lee. If you don't know me, uh, I'm, I'm a local character here in, in uh, Sandler, Tennessee, and I'm a former member of the uh, uh, board, the uh, Ames board, Arts and McNary, until uh, Dr. Pitts fired me, but I, I still try to help him whenever he needs help. And uh, I'm here today to pay tribute to uh, Mr. Rob Richards, and uh, before I do that, I want to mention a couple of things. I want to mention Sean and uh, and his lovely wife and the work they do. And the, the lad is such a great place, and uh, so many people get so much out of it. And secondly, I want to uh, I want to talk a minute about the Richards family. Uh, I've known the Richards family my entire life, and they're a wonderful group of people. Uh, Mr. Rob Richards had a jewelry store on South Second in Sandler, Tennessee, and across the street was my father's grocery store, Lee's Grocery. And uh, saw the Richards family every day, and there, there's a bunch of kids. And the interesting thing is, all the boys are watchmakers, and uh, they they still are to this day. But I remember. Many times, Mr. Rob Richards coming over my daddy's grocery store across the street and get a pack of cigarettes or Coca-Cola, he'd come about every day. And uh, I don't know how many trips I made across to the jewelry store, because the jewelry store was, was kind of like a music store too, but there's no telling how many pick, guitar picks I bought one at a time and uh, black diamond guitar strings. But uh, Rob still has many descendants down in this part of the country and uh, I see them regularly, and the Richards have always been friends of mine, and they're just, just a fine bunch of folks, and, they, and Rob's very, very deserving of this, and I know that, uh, that his family's excited about it, and it's a big honor for his family also. <clears throat> now secondly, I just kind of wanted to talk about the bass fiddle just a little, and uh, Rob is the first uh, bass player to be inducted into the McNair County Music Hall of Fame. And I'd kind of been on Sean. Sean's not a bass player. He's not a bass player in the Hall of Fame. And, and I kept on and on. And of course, Sean, you know, he doesn't, he's not the person that chooses the people for the Hall of Fame. There's a committee that does it. And uh, so he finally called me one day and he said, well, Robert, there's finally a, a bass player in the Hall of Fame this year. And I said, well, thank you, Sean. I accept and I'm very excited. And he said, no, 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 it's not you, it's not you. And I said, oh, well, I nominated myself, I don't know why. But he said, it's Rob Richards. But anyway, I'm just joking. Uh, Rob Richards was the bass player in this part of the country. And uh, anytime, still today, uh, I hear somebody talking about an old timey bass player, I think of uh, Mr. Rob. And I can still see him coming across the street uh, to my daddy's store. And uh, I tell everybody, uh, a bass fiddle, sometimes people think it's an easy thing to play, but a bass fiddle is really a hard instrument, I think, to play. Mr. Rob Richards was not a big guy, he was a small guy, you know, and I know it's a job, uh, it was a job for him to uh, fight that bass fiddle for a few hours uh, a night. Now, bass fiddles, uh, are different than other stringed instruments and most stringed instruments. They don't have a fret. They don't have a. They don't have frets. So you've got to have a good ear and you've got to listen uh, to other musicians. And I just always thought they were kind of hard to play. But I was talking to Bo Jack Killingsworth, and he's played. He used to play some with, with Rob, and he was talking about what a uh, what an excellent bass fiddle player. Rob Richard was, and he said he just he said he would uh, tape up his two middle fingers and and uh, do the slap bass stuff, and said he was just unbelievable on the, on the bass fiddle. And, and uh, I just want to mention those few things about uh, about the Richard family and the Richard family and about the bass fiddle. And uh, now I'd like to read the uh, official induction into the. Uh, into the Hall of Fame. Again, I want to congratulate the Richards family. <clears throat> McNair County Music Hall of Fame, Rob Richards. It is sometimes said that bass players get no respect. We aim to correct that here and now. In the days before drummers were common in local music making, bass fiddle players 
were a one-man rhythm section. Bassists were the cor cornerstone and foundation for the music, and, all joking aside, they were indispensable. They still are. In McNary County, only one name is synonymous with the upright bass, Rob Richards. No one will dispute that Rob Richards was the preeminent bass fiddle player of his generation. He was handy with a guitar and mandolin, but trust us when we say that there wasn't a close second when it came to the upright bass. And we're not just talking about one town or even McNary County. Richards' reputation as the region's go-to bassist was well earned. He was simply the best and everyone knew it. To put that claim in some perspective, for a 35-year span in the mid-20th century, it's likely that Rob Richards collaborated with more musicians in the region than any other instrumentalist of any kind. That might be hard to prove definitively, but it is a fact that he was one of the most sought-after musicians of his generation, playing with hundreds of other pickers around the area. At one time or another, he was the primary basis for a number of McNary County's most revered old-time bluegrass and dance bands, including Waldo Davis and the Midnight Ramblers, Arnold Langlis and the Dixie Hayriders, and Pap Whitten and the Chickasaw Ramblers. It shouldn't escape anyone's notice that every one of those band leaders are distinguished members of the McNary County Music Hall of Fame. They are arguably the big three of 20th century fiddle uh, virtuosity, and they all wanted Rob Richards in their band. One might argue that the legendary Elvis Black belongs in that company, and Richards often played bass for him too. The impressive list of bands and musicians to which Richards lent his services doesn't stop here. You'd be hard pressed to name someone from the region he didn't play with during the, his heyday. The Richards home was often the site of music making, hosting dozens of local pickers, and Rob frequented the area's community dances, clubs, and other home musicals where he earned his reputation playing with his friends and neighbors but he also stayed busy making concert and radio appearances throughout North Mississippi, West and Middle Tennessee, backing some of the region's top musical talents. In the late 1920s and early 30s, Richards began playing with Waldo Davis and the Midnight Ramblers. Davis's band was one of the most entertaining and sought after groups of the era. By the early 40s, the Midnight Ramblers had a popular show on WCMA in Corinth, Mississippi. The versatile band, played old time standards, hot western swing numbers, and even a few novelty tunes with Waldo on the harmonica. The legendary Elvis Black was a frequent guest on the program. With Arnold English and the Dixie Hayriders, Richards frequently performed on Jackson, Tennessee's WTJS Farm and Home Hour, where he often crossed paths with an up and coming young guitarist named Perkins. A Richards family member was once asked if Rob Richards ever played with Carl Perkins. The reply was, no, Carl Perkins played with Rob Richards. That's more than just bluster. During the time period in question, Carl Perkins was an aspiring young artist while the Dixie Hayriders were seasoned pickers with a strong regional following, and Rob Richards was one of the band's most respected musicians. It would have been an honor for the teenage Carl Perkins to sit in with him, which he often did. The Hayriders also anchored a long-running dance at the American Legion Hall in Corinth, Mississippi, and were in so much demand that they were known to make as many as four or five appearances a week. The Chickasaw Ramblers, with Ernest Pap Whitten at the helm, were unquestionably the region's most popular dance band, and like Davis and English, Pap Whitten wanted the best bass player he could get and quickly found it in Rob Richards. The band played a popular dance at Chickasaw State Park, for which they were named, another at Five Points in the Big Springs community, and yet another at the Bolivar VFW. The Chickasaw Ramblers were also regulars on Hayloft Frolic and the Hank Huggins Show broadcast from Jackson WDXI TV. For many years, they were one of the hardest working bands in West Tennessee. You might say that double honor is bestowed on Rob Richards this year. Along with the talented Tom McCormick, Eunice Smith, and Paul Taylor, Richards formed the heart of the locally revered Ladder Ramblers who are also being inducted into the Hall of Fame in the class of 2020. The Ladder Ramblers were the house band for Earl Ladder's, Lad, Earl Ladder's famous garage jamborees. The band anchored those events and were instrumental in carrying out the logistics of staging and promoting 
regular live music shows at Lattice Ford dealership for a decade or more. The Ramblers also doubled as uh, seasoned players for Stanton Littlejohn, who recorded some of the area's top artists in his Eastview, Tennessee home. They appear on dozens of those discs and are responsible for some of the best sides ever recorded. In these two roles, Rob Richards and the latter Ramblers back some of the best musicians of that era in live performances in summer and recording sessions at Eastview that exposed literally thousands of people to the incredible depths of McNary County's music traditions. Quite a legacy. The stellar uh, musicianship would have been enough to induct Rob Richards into the Hall of Fame, but it was not his only contribution to local music culture. Richards was a jeweler by trade, and Richard's Jewelry in downtown Samuel was the closest thing to a music store the area had for many years. While jewelry was obviously his primary business, Richards also carried an impressive assortment of musical instruments, including Gibson and Martin lines, and a wide array of musical accessories. Just as the latter Ford building became a weekend performance venue, Richard's Jewelry became a weekday one-stop for local musicians acting as instrument dealer, repair shop, and clearinghouse for musical information. Customers could pick up an anniversary gift, a new watch band, a set of guitar strings, and learn which bands were playing were all at the same time. Richard's was known to open the store after hours if a musician needed a set of strings or a quick repair. You got to have priorities and it was not unheard of for a little picking to break out at Richard's Jewelry. Rob Richards was a musician's musician. He didn't play bass as a last resort or an afterthought. He made it his primary instrument and elevated it to an art form. His dedication to the mastery of the bass fiddle is still remembered by those uh, who knew him personally and his influence still resonates in the local music making more than 50 years after he played his last note in public. Just as importantly, he is remembered as a generous friend and business owner who always had time for anyone who walked through his door. Richards provided the rhythmic foundation for some of the best music ever made within the borders of McNary County and he earned respect and admiration of musicians and music fans across the region. Fittingly, he is the first individual musician ever inducted in the McNair County Music Hall primarily as a bassist. There is no one more deserving of that distinction, and it is my great honor to induct Rob Richards into the McNair County Music Hall of Fame in the class of 2020. This is actually Rob Richards that he owned at the time of his death. He bought this bass around 1960 and played it until, until his death. We're, we're glad to have it. And thanks to Bob Richards and his family for allowing us to have it with us in this program. And we're so proud and honored to, to have it with us today. But again, back to the introductions. Over on the guitar, Rudy Moore, grandson Bryce, and over on the fiddle happens to be Mr. Daniel Hope. We're proud to have him with us today. First tune we're going to do for you is one that I know Rob played many a time, probably, because he also played this tune with my dad, Ernest Whitmore, prior inductee, and Arnold English, who was a prior inductee to the Hall of Fame here. So uh, Rob played this a lot. This is one called Ragtime Ant.
Richards, and uh, again, we're honored to do some songs uh, that Rob used to play. This next tune that we're going to do, I guess you can notice that we've kind of changed sets from the other, the fiddle tune, but uh, we wanted the old upright piano because uh, Rob always liked that, and the bands he played with usually had a, a, a piano like this, wherever they played, and a lady named Eunice Smith, who was part of the Ladder Ramblers, and she was also part of the Chickasaw Ramblers that played with my dad back in the late 50s, early 60s. So we kind of came out here. I happened to have this piano. And Rob always asked for this tune for Eunice to play. And uh, I think the long name of it is uh, when you and I were young, yeah, Maggie, Maggie, but they shortened the name. Rob would always say, uh, Eunice, will you play Maggie for me? So uh, we're going to try to do it for you here now. up in Madison County and uh, Rob stayed open around six o'clock on Saturday night and most of the time uh, my mom and my dad and my little brother Ronnie we'd go by the jewelry store and pick up Rob wait for him to close and we'd load his base in the car and back then you know there wasn't any SUVs and there wasn't any four-door pickups with camper shells and stuff on the back of them so what we would have to do is take this base and put it in either a 55, 56 Chevrolet, or in Rob's case, a 56 Crown Victoria, which seemed to have a little more headroom in it than the Chevrolet did. But we had to open the driver's side door, roll the window down, put the base body inside the car, put the neck up over the front seat, and then close the door. And uh, a lot of the time, uh, my dad would be driving. He could usually drove Rob's car too. My mom sitting with him, and the bass fiddle neck between my mom and Rob on the front. And we usually had some riders that went with us. So what happened to me and my brother Ronnie, we wound up sitting under the bass fiddle in the back seat. And Five Points was about 35 miles away. 
So that was about 70 miles that we had to ride on Saturday nights under this very fiddle, this very bass fiddle. So I've got a lot of memories there, a lot of memories from long ago about this. And uh, that's why we wanted to help out with this tribute to Rob Richards. Thank you. We got the new everybody rocking tonight. Gonna hold my baby just as I can for tonight. She'll know I'm a mighty man. I got the new everybody rocking tonight.